Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to repair the wiring on a first generation Apple Pencil. If you got kids or you accidentally knock it, uh, you may run into a similar situation. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So if your cords got disconnected, then obviously this part has already ripped off. Um, so you probably won't need instructions on how to get that off, uh, as you could see focus you can see a little black wire and my red wire and my red wire disconnected from the soldering point on this charger so um, can't really get it to focus um, anyways there we go you can kind of see that there's a little nub there um, I've already started to pull this off um, but essentially you need to get these plastic brackets past that nub. Um, as you can see, I've kind of destroyed mine and broke them. Uh, if you cannot do that, that'd be best. I mean, in the end, this thing's basically ruined already, so if you ruin those pieces, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so, you need some kind of sharp instrument that's strong enough. Um, so I have these, like, I don't even know what you would call this thing, but almost like a dentist kind of tool looking things um, and so basically I just wedged it in there um, to be able to pry it past uh, like I said I ended up breaking it but once it gets past it just pops through like that the piece comes off and then these little white pieces just pop right off again hard to do with just one hand but there we go that's the back side, and then here is where my wire disconnected. So, you can see where, uh, yeah, you can see where my red wire disconnected, um, and I need to solder it back on. So, um, you're going to need a soldering iron to go ahead and solder those wires back on. So. Uh, with that little cap disconnected, go ahead and heat up your soldering iron um, and then shave back so you expose a little bit of metal on these wires uh, so that you can solder them back together. So you can see I soldered that on. There's already a little bead there um, so I was able to just put the wire on and, and touch the soldering bead and it just kind of sunk right in. Um, took the two black wires can kind of see it. Uh, I tried to wrap them around as best as I can. Um, this is such a small, rather than taking the soldering little wire to it, I just scooped up a little bead on there and I'm just going to try to wipe it on there to basically make sure this doesn't disconnect. These wires really shouldn't be jiggling around unless of course you've got little kids who like to rip stuff out of your iPad um, or you drop your iPad or something while it's plugged in. Uh, but it really shouldn't be jiggling around much, so it's really just a, I don't even know that soldering it is completely necessary. Um, just more of a peace of mind since I don't feel like putting this all back together. So go ahead and solder those wires back up when you get a chance. So it's not the prettiest, but you can see that little bead there. would like to point out that if your wires are deeper down, you could cut off a small probably centimeter maybe of plastic off of there if you had to probably wouldn't look very pretty um, but again if these are ripped out these things are not really intended to be repaired from my quick research on them so it's essentially totaled and ruined so I mean you're already gonna have to buy a new one if this doesn't work so might as well try it spend the 15 minutes trying to get this done um, so Technically, any time that you have an exposed wire like that, you really should wrap it. Um, I might see if I can put a little bit of electrical tape around it. Uh, again, it doesn't have to look pretty just to cover it. In all honesty, I don't know how necessary that really is. Um, but for peace of mind, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So you go just a tiny smidge of electrical tape. Again, is it really necessary? I don't know but it uh, makes me feel better when I put this all back together. 
So go ahead and put it all back together how you took it apart. All right, so unfortunately some of those little bits came off. There's just no way to put it in. But with that reconnected, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. And it shows charging. Uh, but as I pull it out, it obviously comes off, so I'm going to have to super glue that. I did not realize my wife was explaining that it always popped off. Um, so that might be why we had this issue. Might have come from the factory, uh, not properly glued on there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. Um, but, anyways, at least I have the wires reconnected. Uh, that wasn't too hard to do. So. If you have the same issue with this uh, Apple Pencil Generation 1 uh, with those wires disconnecting, um, hopefully this video was helpful and thanks for watching.